You know, we love a good historical nugget here on Most Buffalo. So if you've ever wondered where did Earth Day come from anyway, Heather Waldman has us covered in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. Just in case you needed a calendar check, it's April 22nd. And for the past 50 years, it's been known as Earth Day. I'll give you the backstory on how it got started and give you some tips on how you can be Earth conscious while you stay at home in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. Earth Day was officially started in 1970 by Wisconsin Senator Gaylord Nelson. It began as an environmental movement protesting the Industrial Revolution. Later that same year, the EPA was born. Since then, it's become a global day of action with a goal of making planet Earth a little healthier while raising awareness of how carelessness can cause real harm to our home. Awareness is key because our seemingly small everyday actions can have huge consequences. The pollution that's emitted when we drive makes the air dirtier and harder to breathe, and it contributes to Earth's rising average temperature, which goes hand in hand with rising ocean temperatures, and coral bleaching, and animal migration, and increased energy usage because of warming, which leads to more fossil fuel burning. It's quite a nasty cycle, but this Earth Day, there are plenty of things you and your family can consider doing right at home to make your corner of the Earth just a little bit greener. Consider walking or biking. It's something we're doing a lot now anyway, but even once social distancing is over, could you take some of your shorter drives and change them out for zero emission transportation? Here's another good one, especially now. Think about your kitchen and ways to make it zero waste. Look in your fridge. Do you frequently throw out food? Are you constantly buying plastic containers and other disposable items? Maybe think about buying glass containers instead. Think about meal planning and shopping according to that plan. Again, this is a big money saver in the long run. Plant a garden. This one has so many benefits. Gardens look nice, and if you choose fruits and veggies you like, you'll save on your grocery bill. Plants can also help scrub the air through photosynthesis and provide a home for some critters that might need it. And sometimes, digging in the dirt just feels good. And if you feel so inclined and you're able to, you can always donate to one of your favorite environmental charities. There are plenty right here in Western New York that I'm sure would love the help. Just make sure you do your research first. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek. <laughs>